Okay, some of the tools that you will need, you will need an, an impact driver, um, like a 3.8 um, Allen, new seals, um, a 19 millimeters dies, also a 12 millimeters dies, also the 17. Um, Allen uh, dies for the upper area of the of the fork. We, ne we will need the Allen wrenches as well uh, to remove the defender and also the uh, one of the the bottom one uh, in order to do a quick uh, removal or just to remove it back. Uh, we will need also in my. What I did, I bought Maxima Racing Oil, Fork Oil, and this is 10. You can have 5, 10, or 15. Uh, I went to the middle one. It depends on what kind of riding do you do. So, okay, so that's it. What I will do now is I'm going to go directly to the other fork, but I will do it in fast motion. This is a uh, 19 guys. Okay, so what, I, what I'm thinking to do is just to to replace the, the the gaskets. So I will try to do it without removing the forks from the bike from these two points. Uh, also, let me grab the phone. So, in order to do that, we have to make sure that we also remove the air pressure from this, this one to zero. It has like five or so, or PSI. So it shouldn't be too, too much, but no pressure is better. You see, no pressure. So I will tap it again, so I don't lose it. So what I'm thinking to do is uh, to remove this. Remember, we have to remove this one first, so we don't. Uh, because if you try to remove this one, it's going to be way too tight. So we need to lose at least a little bit this one, and then underneath we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have there is a hole where you can you can go through and then re remove the the bolt that is holding the the fork um, as you can see ah, sorry so as you can see all this is full of uh, oil so this what is happening is leaking from here so all this area oh sorry so all this area is leaking and then goes to the forks and then goes underneath and everything is messy so we're going to do some cleaning here i have my towels and everything so we may do this cleaning at, at the end or once it's everything removed but just for you to show you how there is and it's not good that it's leaking so i don't know what is this i always 
have some issues with some I think it's 12 no it's 10 Okay, so I need to find a way to hold the phone or to get my wrench wherever I left it. Okay, so what we're going to do is to use to lose this one. We will remove it all just because we will need to go through it in order to remove the, the fork oh, I didn't know if it has someone here so. So, as you see, this bike has a crack. I will. Oh, it seems like it was already tried. What somebody tried to fix it. So I will take a look as well later. kind of easy to remove and uh, I will try to remove the brakes from here I mean, I mean just open the bracket okay so now it's almost free to go what I'm trying to do here is just to go underneath and I need to find what kind of uh, key or I don't know how it seems to be bigger or larger yeah this is a 10 millimeters so quick pause I will try to find one of these because I don't know if I can I can remove it without using the the, the impact dri driver also so I would, something good that, that we are going to do first we are going to drain uh, the oil from here so give me a second so what I will do is I am going to use this uh, the screwdriver Do a little bit of uh, shaking. No, it's, it's, the spring is too, too is loaded, so it will be difficult to do. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It shouldn't be that much. The oil looks <laughs> so so, but what I will do is I replace it, and also because of the gaskets or the 
There should be more, more oil inside because it has different chambers. Can we put it back? Just two. To have it there. Okay, so now we're going to move to remove the. Oh, I was going to look for the 10 millimeters to see if, if we can lose. Loose it up, I don't know. This is to do some kind of leverage. Okay, I will try to find some kind of uh, 10 millimeters uh, for the impact driver. Okay, so I found the connector for 10 millimeters. No, actually, this is a 5 sixteenths. I will use it in the impact driver. Uh, it should be easier. It doesn't fit. I don't know why. It is basically the same as uh, this. Maybe it's not. Let me pause again and find the correct one. <clears throat> so I found these three eight uh, dies with an end for the like an Allen. This one I bought it for the Harley Fat Boy Tour 2012 for the transmission, so I can move it or remove the bolt. But then I will fit here. Remove it. Now you can see more more oil coming. So now that we remove the the bolt, uh, we, we can remove the the fork. Okay, good. So what we have here is the, now we have to remove this seal. Be careful with, with this because 
It can be, shouldn't be too sharp, but so we we'll remove it, and now we should have like a. I'm just look, looking for it. So for this one, what we are going to do, as we can see here, we have a, a little ring or it's a very easy to remove. We just need to pull it from one side. We have the other side. Once you pop it out, we can we can hold it here, and then this one should be easy to 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 go down. You see all the dirt that we have here. These are only like uh, washers. Okay, so I think there is another one that is holding everything. Even if we remove the... I don't know what, what else to remove. Uh, okay, so it's like a, a dry noise, so it means that there should be something else holding. Okay, perfect. You see? So, we were able to took it out with the gasket, the seal, and everything. So, that's awesome. So, so now we have... You see? We have this, the seal. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go to this side. The light side. So, we, we have the shaft. I will go back. I will zoom out. So here is where we have the chambers and the seal. This one has a little uh, bracket that even with my nail, I can lose it to remove it. So you see, it's easy. We put it, we have everything here. Awesome. We have this. Make sure that you know the order of this. As me, I don't know, but uh, I mean, I'm just finding out. A washer, the gasket, or the seal. And it's making a little bit of trouble. Let me put the camera. On. This one is dirty. You can see it like white. So you can see like solid uh, dirt or I don't know, but rust maybe. So I will clean them and then sand them. This one is the one that doesn't work anymore, but we are going to take a look if we can see some damage. Okay, so this is the used one. This is the, this one. This is the new one. So I bought it from an uh, from eBay, and they were saying that these were a Yamaha brand, 
And now, because they say OEM parts, so I went and buy them, and then it, it it seems like they are not OEM or Yamaha brand. It's still a good quality, but I will make a, a little complaint of uh, with this, with the, the guys from the seller on eBay. Uh, the other, I, I like the the K and N or K K K and S. Uh, a brand, but this one doesn't show to be a uh, Yamaha brand, but it's still good quality. So we are going to make sure that they fit correctly. They seem to to be okay. So what we're going to proceed now is to to clean the this washer with a sandpaper, fine grind. So we have here the one of the washers, as you can see, kind of rusty. So what we do? Everything feels pretty good. Alright, we're going to remove the the top area of the fork. Okay, uh, so now uh, we're going. We're uh, sorry. What we are going to do is to remove this cap. That is very easy. And for this one, we need to remove this cap in order to be able to, be able to pull the spring. So looking at this, I need to get the correct uh, tool to to remove it. For this one is uh, 17 millimeters. So and I have my wrench as well. So what we're, what we're going to do is just to make sure that uh, we don't have too much play and not to move the back too much. This this is not too tight, so it shouldn't be okay. Uh, this this one is loaded a little bit because it has a, a spring. So that is, uh, we have to go carefully or slowly. So, I don't want to shake the bike too much because it's flying. I'm wondering how I will, I will put it back, but we will see. So this is what we have. We don't, we don't really need to take it out because this one uh, is going to be, I just need to fill the oil through this. So it fills all the system and chambers. So I will take a look how, how to remove it, if I need to. 
because it, the okay so we have a piece of pipe and then the spring should come up oh, and we push it here so it has a washer and then the spring As I said, we don't need to remove it, but I'm just going to give a quick uh, clean and that will be it and then put it back. I will use some kind of cleaner in order to remove all all oil from the from the system. I will do, do a, a quick clean here. I don't know how I, I don't know how I, I will push it in order to fit the, the knot this knot again because it seems like there is some kind of uh, spring back and all, of, of course it's a spring but uh, yeah I, have, I don't know how I will push it enough to start uh, this uh, running but we will see. Okay, so now what we are going to do is just to forget about this for the moment. We're going to start pulling back the, the fork. And I forgot the, the washer. This one. Here. So you can see. And so. Okay. So what I will do in the, in the meantime, I'm going to make to clean this. Um, you can see that we have some kind of, uh, yeah, we have some residues um, at the end. So I will clean all these the, the areas, and then I will put the new seals, and then we're going to put it back to the to the fork, and and then uh, fill with new oil. So, okay, uh, I will skip this moment of cleaning so you don't get bored. Okay, I will show a little bit of how to clean. I will use this product, it's WD-40 machine and degreaser. So I will put it um, with all the, this foamy. So I like the way it, the way it works. Uh, you just put it and start using everything. here for a moment so it will start draining
Also, I would put some uh, here inside. Oh. Oops. You should start dripping from here. See how the foam start working. This is going to start leaking. Okay, so after that, I will go. I will do like a quick wash uh, with water, so it drips. Uh, but it, it looks good so far. Uh, this was this this product doesn't leave residues or nothing like that, so should be okay. I will do also some cleaning with the brake calipers that are also very very dirty. <coughs> Everything that I use here to clean gets very messy. It's just the way. It is. Okay, I will put pause and then have everything clean and drain and then continue. So, wondering and checking. So we can do this change of uh, seals without removing the the forks. But uh, I am just feeling it's like all the The, the bearings, bearings of the of here of the fork uh, are not good, so I feel like they are not fully rounded. So I I see that somebody else played with this before, so maybe it's too tight, or maybe. But what I did, I bought this long time ago. So while the bag is uh, hanging, um, I will proceed to do this. In order to do the the seals, I think I need to remove the forks. I uh, need to remove a bolt or a nut that is here, and then this will be free. Then the the wiring, but uh, I think so. What I will do, I will do another video uh, with the bearings uh, of the fork changed. So for for now, we are going to begin to continue with doing the change uh, of the of this. And I will remove the, or lose this bolt so I can remove the shaft. And once I remove the shaft, uh, it will be easier to clean and make sure that uh, everything is free of free of oil and everything. So what I did here is um, this is clean and nice. Um, I also made sure sure that there is no rust where the seal goes. So it doesn't have any any issues uh, or leaks. Uh, also, I dry it, uh, I clean it, I wash it, and I, I clean everything. So okay, so we're going to continue with this. Um, I am I have here in this table all the things that we need in order to do the job. And also we have this, this one, I don't know how this, this works, but it seems that it's easy to move. Oh, it has a, like a ring here, so I will remove it. It's easy to remove just with the nail.
So now we have this one. I will put it back just to have it here together. And take a look, we have a, a hole uh, here. This is for the air when we feed this. Uh, here, I will try to show you. But it seems like it has some gaskets or some seals for the air not to leak. Uh, I can, and you can see them there, one upper and lower. Okay. So now what I will do, I will just going to put this. Uh, let's see how it lays out. So see. This doesn't go because, okay, but we have another, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is all the things that we have. I'm glad that, I, that we did this because we are going to have a better opportunity to, I don't know, if, oh, yeah, to clean inside and make sure that there is no old oil and then to make sure that we can put the spring back and everything so okay we will do this so now we are i'm just going to clean and clean and clean yeah. Okay, so I want to shoot everything dry and clean. As I said, make sure that this doesn't have any dents or problems because then when the shock is springing, back and up and down it's going to the every nick is going to leave some kind of oil over there and then that's where the leak happens okay time to rebuild everything so for this one what we're going to do is we're going to follow the so i have uh, the two manuals so we have to make sure that we follow the instructions. So as we did before, um, I'm going to use everything that is here. So first we need the 21 that is like a slider bushing, slider bushing. So let me, we need to put this leather bushing. It has like a, a little bit of string. So you can push it down. Once I'm done, maybe I'm not even ready. You see, this is the leather bushing. This is not just for this one. This one, just for this one. So we're going to find another piece. Put it in. Let's do it. For this one, for this one, so it's good. Okay. Let's make sure that it's good. So now the one, the next one is to put the this the this little lock. Make sure it goes to the group. All all the areas that you hear hear like a click. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's keep going. 
Okay, in order to, to assemble this one, uh, just make sure that everything is clean here. What I'm using is a rod for uh, power, power washing. So I put a napkin inside. And very carefully, uh, just you, you need to remove the... Uh, so I, what I did, I put some kind of cleaning cloth here. So now I have to remove it. For this one, I will use a tool to just to pull the paper. Make sure the, the internal walls are not in, not that, that important, but so I, what I did, I just push it here, just like this, and then use this rod to make sure that everything is clean. And then the Just pull it. Look. I use it too many times. So so once it's clean, I will take a, a second look. I don't know if you can see here. Everything is clean. So what I will do now is just going to blow some air through it. Through it. Okay, so everything sh everything should be okay, should be clean. So now we have this. Uh, we have to to make the assembly. So for this one, we are going to take our first one and drop it here. Good. everything is clean then we can we can do do this slowly but uh, we need to put another Another one that goes here, so we have to make sure we have it. It's like a, a washing Susie's hair. Make sure you don't damage the seal. So for this one, try to make it smooth. having some rubbing here I don't know if, if it's because of the seal that is yeah I think it's that but in order to put the seal correctly you have to put this first so I'm just going to try to do it with an angle once it's there oh. So now what I'm thinking is that we did this in the wrong way because we have a, lo a lock over there that is not going to allow us to like the retaining ring. So we need to do this again. Let me take a look. Pause. So as I made a mistake, so. We have to put the rod first and then the other bushings 
So because this is kind of a locking mechanism, so what I'm doing this uh, with a lot of care is just to, to pull it. Coming out. Almost good. All right. So I removed this one. I didn't make any damage, uh, but make sure you don't do it. So what, I, what we are going to do now? The problem was that this was not allowing to to come back or to go back because this was kind of. That this was is going to be like this. Okay, so this goes this here, so it will prevent for going out. So now what I think we have to do is kind of going like this. Now we have this accessible for. So now what we are going to do, once the rod is to the bottom, we are going to put the bolt just to try to lock the other one. I don't know if we are going to make it or not. I think it's holding, no. Oh yeah, it's holding a little bit. It doesn't go that much because... Uh, the only thing that I, I just want to hold it a little bit. But now, what we have to do is to put this one. So I will remove this little ring. So now we have to push this one. So what I'm thinking that we, we will do is with the same uh, screwdriver to push it without damaging the... without damaging the, the rod. So we are just pushing this one. It's too wide to go in. So I will use this one. It's a spinning. It's 
Slot. Okay, so it's almost there, but you can see. So that will probably go, needs to go by hand. Well, I think that's why it has the little different shape inside, so we can lock it some way. But okay, we will see that one in a moment. So now what is next is we're going to put this, the new seal is already looped. It's easier to put it this way. Oh, not ready, not ready, not ready because we have a group here. So, okay. Now I cannot use my dice, uh, so I don't know how I will push it, but it's, it's, it seems like it's going very, it's, it's going easily. So maybe I can use some kind of something soft, like a, like this. No, it doesn't fit. It's going, let me see if I can push it with the screwdriver without damage. Oh yeah, it goes pretty good. Make sure you don't damage the seal, what, 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 what is important. It's like bouncing, so maybe we need to do this uh, with two. Yeah, let me see something different. Oh, also what we can use is the old seal. Put it there and push it with this. So the old the old one should, should be good, good to push it, and we don't we don't worry about the bushing. So. See, now I have to remove it. Yeah, it's it pretty good. So we can remove the old one and then put the Lock. Make sure you hear all the clicks in all the sides. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Okay, so I think we're done with this part of this. I will put this back just to have it in order. 
or in place. Good. Beautiful bike. Okay, so for this one, it's almost ready. What we will do is we're going to put back this one. We said that this was on the top. So there it is. Now we have a big bushing or a big, uh, like a spacer. I don't know where I left it. Make sure that when you put this one, to put this little aluminum cap, and then you can go and put it back here. And then start pushing everything. So, okay. So what we are going to do now, is we are going to use uh, the lube or the oil for, for the fork. So it says that every fork use uh, 451 uh, cu cubic centimeters or 15.9 uh, ounces in parallel ounces or 15.3 uh, US ounces I don't know why we make this mess we should be able to do everything with millimeters in all the world in order to create a little bit of uh, pressure against the bottom one I, I will put this backwards and push it so this bolt is a little bit tighter so I can Oops. let's see if it's tight yeah it's tight it's good so that one is okay now uh, we are going to make sure also that we have this Tight. I just want to give a little bit of okay. So I will do a manual torque on that one, but okay. So now we can put the loop here. So for this one, I will prepare the loop. Okay, so now what I will do is I will, I will refill. Let me see if I see. No. Okay, so what, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this. Uh, we'll do, it says 450. So we have a 250 here. So we're going to do 200 and then 200 and then 50. I think it's too much, but... Then we have to do a little bit of... Remove the oil. And then we're going to do another four, uh, 200. I think I would do like only 25 because it's almost, it's almost full. Okay, I will do a little bit more. I just don't want to run out of loop or oil. Because I need to do the other fork. So this is for the loop. Now you, you cannot move it out. Loop. 
Now we have to put this one. And for this, I will leave this shirt in order because it's too slippery. So, I don't know. Let's see how we push it. So now, what is next is to push this. So now ah. We have to push it. Once you get it, it's fine. So as you can see, it's spinning because I don't have enough grip here. We can do this here as much as we can, but then with the final torque will be here. Okay, so that that's basically it for the for the loop, for the fork seals, for the Yamaha VMAX. I will do in uh, like time lapse, lapse the other one, and you will be able to see all the things, but in quick motion. Thank you. So part of the information that I got, all the procedures uh, that I used is from the climbers uh, service manual, but also for the uh, original BMAX uh, 12N-NC service manual. And also I have some uh, magazines from 1985 when this bike came and was the meanest motorcycle of eight, 1985 so yeah I have them I bought them in eBay and it has a lot of nice uh, content uh, saying how, how good this bike was and is